Good morning, you're on KGAB. Good morning, Dave. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Hey, the other day I was in Cheyenne uh, over at um, Carl's Jr. waiting in line. Uh-huh. I don't know, it was lunchtime. There was I don't know, probably seven or eight people in front of me, which put me back towards one of the tables. And I was uh, visiting a little bit over my shoulder with a guy. We were talking about the government, you know, and how things were going and, sure. you know, the spying stuff and the IRS and, you know, just a bunch of stuff like that. And uh, when I said that I had heard, uh, I think it was like in the next seven or eight years, they expect to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 30,000 drones flying over the United States, private and government and city and real estate agents and, uh, you know, Department of Homeland Security and everybody under the sun. And, and then, uh, of course, anything shot with the cameras uh, that are wi fi um, and stuff, you know, that information can be picked up by anybody that has the technology and, and you know, desire and capability. You betcha. So anyways, as we talked, this woman sitting there says, you want to hear something that's absolutely true? This happened to me. And I said, what's that? She said, I worked out here on this supercomputer uh, the dirt work and everything, um, you know, for a construction company. And she said they had a lot of big equipment out there, and I'd never worked in, in something like that before. So she said, I had my phone, smartphone, iPhone, whatever it was, you know, took some pictures and everything. And as time went on, she said there was a helicopter that would fly over up above, and it would kind of hover, you know, here and there. And she said, I didn't think much about it. Until I realized that every time the helicopter was up there my phone would you know beep or tweet whatever it was she said when a some sort of electronic you know either a phone call or picture or text somebody sent her you know it would wake up whatever you want to call it and about the fourth time it woke up while she was outside she says it started bothering me and this helicopter was always above and it took her two weeks to figure out what they were doing and she says every picture that was on that cell phone that I took of that property, equipment, anything that was going on was gone out of my phone. Really? And uh, so she says, don't think that they can't just fly over whoever they are uh, that have a desire to. Can't just fly over you. Uh, if your phone is on, I guess, I'm, I'm not a real technically savvy person, but she said, if your phone's on, I know they can pick its brain and take what they want out of it, uh, or probably put what they want to in it. So it's, you know, I mean, that's that's what she said. So um, people, you know, especially around the supercomputer deal and all that stuff, and who knows, maybe that supercomputer uh, in Wyoming will be uh, the albatross around our Napa one of these days. Well, it's not supposed to be anything intrusive in terms of spying on us. It's supposed to be uh, weather-related. But uh, what they tell you and what turns out to be sometimes are two different things, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyways, that's just just relating a story. Uh, All right. A look on the woman's face, the sound in her voice. Uh, I have no reason to disagree with what she was saying. No, sir. Um, so, anyway, have fun with your smartphones. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. Bye. one 503 307 632 or 632 Good morning. It's your turn in the morning zone on KGAB. Good morning, Dave. This is Ron. Hello. I'd like to uh, put to rest your previous caller's fears. Um what the lady told you is, um, well, let's just say less than candid, or she didn't know what she was talking about. In order to change something on your cell phone, you've got to have access to that phone through the cell network. That is, through the, the central offices where the switching takes place, where you connect one cell phone to another cell phone or to a landline or whatever, the switching system. Mm -hmm. You don't need a helicopter or a drone or anything to gain access to that. Basically, what you need is a computer and a line into that switching network and a good hacker. Mm -hmm. 
Now, any good hacker can do this. But uh, the idea that somehow you can fly a helicopter or a drone over a site and you can extract information from somebody's cell phone or put information into it is, is technically impossible. If you've ever worked for the telephone company, as I did for 32 years and retired from there, then you have a little technical knowledge of how cell phones work. Sure. And it just doesn't work that way. All right. So, well, thanks for the clarity. Okay. Thank you. Good morning. You're on in the morning zone. Dave, this is Barry. Hey, Barry. How are you? Good. Hey, I have a friendly rebuttal for Ron. Okay. There's a word called Wi-Fi. So on these smartphones, um, you know, people can get home and get off the cell and actually can use their Wi-Fi to make phone calls and that. So, Dave, I, to be honest with you, just in a friendly way, I think Ron needs to investigate this a little deeper and not just say off the cuff what he thinks he knows. You know, mm -hmm. it's not to be rude, but my gosh, Dave, there are things that are happening. And I think sometimes, okay, I understand I may not know everything, this person may not know everything, but when we hear something, we need to speak up and say, look, I see it a different way, and I believe that what you're saying is wrong. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, I just I would ask for him to look at Wi-Fi. Okay. Thank you, Dave. You bet. We'll check that out. Thanks Thank a lot. Bye.